Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write java program to find duplicate characters in a string so guys the meaning of a duplicate character is let's say any character in a string it is occurring more than once then we say that the character is a duplicate character so what will be the algorithm in order to find the duplicate characters in a string first of all we will define the string and then we will be using the two loops which will be used to find the duplicate characters the outer loop will be used to select a character and initialize the variable count as 1 so basically we are going to start with one character and then inside the outer loop we will have the inner loop which will be used in order to compare the selected character with the rest of the characters present in the string so guys if a match is found it increases the count by 1 and set the duplicates of selected character by 0 to mark them as visited so basically if the character is a duplicate character we will replace it by 0 so that we don't have to check it once again using the outer loop so after the inner loop if count of character is greater than 1 then it has duplicates in a string so guys let us implement this algorithm in our eclipse ide so over here we will define our string that is string str it is equal to programming for beginners this is the name of the youtube channel that you should definitely subscribe now guys we are going to check what are the different duplicate characters inside this string you can also use the scanner class or the buffered reader class in order to take the input from the user to set this string variable so over here we are going to define the array of characters so we will have the array of characters so let's say ch it is equal to string dot two character array so guys we are going to use the two char array method in order to convert this string to the array of characters and assign it to this ch variable now we are going to use this ch variable and based on our algorithm we will be defining our two loops and compare each character so over here we will be defining our outer loop so int i it is equal to 0 it starts from the first character which is at the zero index and then i it goes to ch dot we have something called as length so we are going to go throughout the length of the string that is up to this last character that is s over here and then we have i plus plus and then guys we need to check that the character at this position that is i inside this ch whether it is zero or not if it is zero then we will continue or else we will go to the inner loop so over here we will say ch and then i is it equal to 0 over here and that is the character that we are checking if yes then we have to continue that is go to the next character we need not have to check this that's because we have marked this character as 0 after we have found that yes it is a duplicate character and then after this we will have another for loop and we will say int j it is equal to the ith character plus 1 that's because guys let's say in the first case we are checking for the p character over here so we need to compare this p character with the characters that is after p that is from the i plus 1 characters and up to the last character of the string and that is the reason why we have to start from i plus 1 let's say if we are coming at g then we have to start from r over here so after this i plus 1 we will check j less than ch dot length so it will be up to the length of the array of the characters and then we have j plus plus and inside this for loop what we are going to do is we are going to compare the characters at the ith position and the jth position so what we will do is if ch and then followed by i is it equal to the character at the jth position so if it is equal we will simply print this character over here that this character is a duplicate character so we have the print statement and then i will say ch in this case followed by the space character so that all the duplicate characters we can get on the same line using this print method and using this space so that all the characters are space separated and another expression that we have to put is this ch at the jth position we should assign it to 0 so that we don't check it once again when the control flow is going back again to the outer loop so when this duplicate character which was assigned to 0 over here the control flow will come over here it will check ch of i is it equal to 0 yes in this case so the character that was already identified as a duplicate character need not have to be checked so i will put this as continue so guys let us now try running this code so i'll just save this file and try running this code over here so as you can see we are getting the garbage value that's because we are using the character array but we have to use one of the indices in order to print one character so what i will do over here is i will simply put ch of i over here let me just save this file and try running this code once again 
so as you can see these are the duplicate characters that is r r r o g g m i n n e so these are some characters that are duplicate as you can see this r it is repeating itself and there are four instances of r 1 2 and then inside this 4 we have 3 and then one more r that is 4 but guys let's say we want to display them only once but this is coming as 3 times g is coming as 2 times and n is coming as 2 times so what we can do is we can define another variable that is int count over here and initially inside our outer loop we will say count it is equal to 0 in our case and we will only print the count when count is equal to 0 so just before this print statement over here inside our if condition we will say end count it is equal to 0 in our case and once it is printed over here what we will do is we will just increment the count value to count plus plus over here so now guys let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see we are getting r just once over here but again one more r we are getting over here once again so what we will do is we will try debugging this code so we will print both the strings over here outside the outer for loop so over here we will have print a statement and then let's say I provide a string 1 which is the original string over here so string 1 it is equal to str and then the same line of code I'll copy and paste this over here I'll say string 2 but this time we will be using the ch followed by dot and then we have two string method that's because we need to convert this array of characters to the string in order to print them so guys, let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see string 1 is coming on the same line what we can do is we can provide a slash n character over here and over here string 2 it is providing us some garbage value so what we can do is we can convert it in a different way so let's say i'll provide string dot value of and then the character array that is ch so let me just save this file and try running this code so as you can see we can compare both the strings now so since this r is repeating instead of the second r we have provided zero instead of the second m we have zero over here once again so this r is getting repeated we are getting this r then we have o then we have g as well and then we have next m and then we have this i that is repeating and then we have n as well and then we have this space character which is repeating 1 and 2 this is the r character that was not converted to 0 and that is why this r is coming back once again so why this r is not being converted to 0 that's because we have put this additional condition that is count equal to equal to 0 in which case the ch of j will become 0 so i'll just remove this condition from here and i'll just provide count plus plus and after this execution of the inner for loop we will check if count is greater than 0 and if it is greater than 0 we are going to print that character so i'm going to remove this line of code as well from the outer loop and i will provide it inside the inner loop and i'll provide the condition that is if count it is greater than 0 that means the character is a duplicate character so we have to print that character that is ch of i so guys let me just try running this code once again i'll save this file and try running this code so now as you can see this r has been converted to 0 now and we have all the unique characters now that is r o g m i n and then we have the space character and then e guys one more important thing is we have used the uppercase character over here in this case so let's say if we have a lowercase p over here it will not be equal to this uppercase character so what we can do is we can convert the string to the lowercase character first and then we can try comparing all the characters so let's say for example at the end of the string i provide a small p over here i'll save this file and try running this code now so as you can see p is not being displayed as the duplicate character but we have a lowercase character and the uppercase character of the letter that is p so what we can do is for this string that is two character array before converting it to a character array we can convert it to a lowercase so we have the two lowercase over here so this will be converted to the lowercase and then we will be having the two character array method to convert it to the character array let me just save this file and try running this code once again so as you can see p is being displayed as the duplicate character now that's because this uppercase letter that is p was converted to the lowercase character and this p was compared to the last p that we had just put in our string so guys this is the algorithm that you can use in order to find the duplicate characters in a string 
please make sure that you practice on your own so that on different input of strings you get the different output please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is a java program to print right triangle star pattern so stay tuned